So if you had a flight at six o'clock, like for the flight that we have tomorrow, um, like we'll be on the go from 11 o'clock tonight. And so we get up, you have a shower, I go off then, I collect Dennis on the way, we go to the stables, we load the horses up, then we go to Abu Dhabi, make sure everything is okay there. Um, then we get on to the, load the horses up and, and get on to the flight, get into Amsterdam then, and all the paperwork has to be done. Um, the vets come, they check all the horses, and then the customs have to be done then after that as well. And um, once that's all finished then, we can start loading them on the trucks and, and they can go off to wherever their destination is. So, yeah, you're right, it's not just an A to, a to B, is it? No. We're, uh, uh, the, the work beforehand and after, afterwards is, uh, is just as crucial. There's uh, uh, the, last, the last miles every bit as important as the first three and a half thousand. Uh, I love travel, so it's a, it's a good job for that, certainly. Um, dealing with the horses and uh, it's a very rewarding job in that it's, uh, it's a finite thing. You take someone's pride and joy and uh, you deliver it safely uh, at this destination halfway around the world or wherever it might be and um, it's a really satisfying thing to do. The, the worst part of the job, I guess, it's, it's the un uh, unsocial hours. It, it's, uh, there's some pretty long days um, involved but uh, it comes with the territory and uh, I think on balance it's worth it. Apply yourself and make yourself available, I guess. Um, except that you're not going to be starting by doing uh, the big jobs, the big high profile jobs and, and, and probably start out by doing even box jobs and, and taking horses to the airport, loading them or offloading them there. Uh, getting to know the flying grooms, um, especially the old ones like Barry and me. Uh, taking advice um, and just gaining experience and uh, eventually you know, get a few flights and uh, a bit of experience yourself and, and uh, one day you'll find yourself old and grey like, uh, well, one of us anyway. <laughs>